Hi, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Feelers. And this is my first iPad video. I usually do desktop videos, and I've never even used an iPad before, so this is kind of interesting. I'm going to see how this goes. I'm even trying to figure out if my recording is okay. I have an overhead with my phone, believe it or not. I want to tell you that sometimes you have bad photos, and I had bad photos. Like this particular photo is it's only 84 kilobytes. And I just blew it up on my page here. And I'm going to show you what I did to it. But first, I'm going to show you that I have been in the past in museums. I was in the Antoine Duteau Museum. I was in um, Art Space Gallery, which is a fine art gallery. And I actually won a ribbon for some of these pieces. And I just want to show you how you can take something that's really not very good and not high resolution and turn it into art. One thing I have to tell you is I'm left-handed. Affinity Photo has a left hand and right hand on the, iP on the iPad version, but that just switches this and this. My problem was, I guess all my life, I've used a mouse on, with my right hand. I just force a habit. And now that I'm picking up a pen, I can't use a right hand for some reason. I think it's kind of funny, actually. So I'm adjusting, because if I have to sketch something or do anything, I would always use my left hand. So I'm just going to show you that I took this photo and I'm going to, I'll delete these. So I'm going to just, here's how you, you select things. You unselect, you keep going to the right. So here's select, select, and select, and I'm going to hit delete. So this is, all that's left is the photo right now. And I'm going to duplicate this photo. First, I got to unlock it. I'm going to duplicate it. So I am going to press down, let go, and say duplicate. So now I have a second version just so I could show you what the first version looked like earlier. And I'm going to hide that. And now I'm going to go to Curves. And here's all your studios here. So Curves is in Adjustment. And if you don't know where the studios are, you hold down this question mark, and it tells you right here, Adjustment Studio. So I can go there, and I can use my finger here, but I have it set that my finger will only move things around. It won't paint, which I think is great. And so I'm going to go to Curves. And now that I'm in curves, I'm going to tap here where it says spine, and I'm going to play. That's all I'm doing. I have no idea what it's, it's not going to come out like the original. I spent so much time on that original piece, and the original piece was an 18 by 20 inch piece, and it was framed to uh, much higher. So you, you've see, you could see the picture of it anyway. So I'm just going to play. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to pull maybe this down, and maybe this up, and then maybe this down. And I have no idea what's going to really happen until I keep playing around here. Maybe I want to go more toward the lighter side. I don't know. Or maybe the, ooh, that's getting interesting. So I'm trying to just play. And let's see what I can end up with. I don't know. So bear with me. I'm just playing right now. And I don't know where we're going to end up with. I am going to keep trying to figure something out here. And maybe like that and this up and maybe this way up and I'm gonna move this just so you, I want to be able to see the bottom here with because I'm liking the way the boat is looking on the bottom with the reds I think that's kind of cool actually and that one maybe I'll delete that one let's try some of this and there's a little bit of a yellow sky there and maybe a little over like that. And I think I'm going to stay with that one. So now I'll go back to my layers right here. And I'm hoping you're getting this all on camera. Let me look. I think you are. Okay, good. And I can move it right now and I can go larger or smaller. So that alone just changed the whole look. It's not supposed to be a real regular photo. It's just supposed to look like some piece of artwork and that, that and we're not done we got plenty more we can do here so I'm going to group these two together so that one's already selected and that's selected so these two are selected I can hit that and that's grouped so now what I want to do is I want to create a new pixel layer and so that's an, we're going to hit the plus here and new pixel layer and now that this pixel layer is on top and I'm, in fact I'm going to rename it so if I click on that and hit these three dots and hit the word pixel, 
I can rename it. So I'm going to just say paint, P-A-I-N-T, and say OK. And it's nice how it knew my handwriting, which I think is great because my handwriting is terrible. But now I'm going to start painting on that pixel layer. Let's go back to there. And what I'll do is let's go to brushes first. And if you don't know where brushes are, hold down the question mark here. And there's your brushes studio. So it's right there. And I'm going to maybe pick some kind of maybe oil. Let's keep going. I could just click in the middle and slide up. And there's oils. And then I will pick a brush. I'm not even sure which one. Again, I'm playing. I'm trying to do this quickly. It will not look like the original one that I did, which was really nice. But it'll be. It'll do. Um, I'll pick something like this with some streaks in it. And now I'm going to go to the clone tool, clone brush tool, and it should be using that brush. Let me make sure it's the same brush because it's showing it down here. But I don't know if I like the way that looks. So let's try maybe. This one? Yeah, maybe that one. Okay, and if you want to change your size of your brush, you go this way or that way. You see it right here? I'm sliding left or right. So I'm going to just start. I might start with a wide brush just to get the water in and the sky in first. Now that we have the clone brush set up, now we need to go here and say layer, not current layer and below. I want the source to be the layers below. And the layer below is just this actual photo that we just worked on. So now I'm going to take the clone brush and we have to press and hold. I don't know how it works exactly. I'm just, I'm learning myself. So give me, bear with me a second and see if we, oh, there we go. So there's the little cross right there. And what I'm doing is I'm painting. So I'm going to paint the whole back of the ocean first. I know it's going to be, it's actually distorting everything because I'm a little bit off, but it really doesn't matter if I'm a little bit off. You'll see in a minute. And by the way, if you go past something, so I'm just covering up all the, the, the previous because I didn't do exactly in the right spot because I'm new with the iPad, so bear with me. It's terrible. So I'm going to hide that. And this is what I've gotten painted so far. So I'm going to bring it back. You have to have the one below it and, and select the top to continue. And since I did screw up, I'm just going <laughs> to crop it because I'm new at this. So like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing with the iPad yet. So basically, I'm just trying to get the larger backgrounds done first. Let's hide, let's hide this and see where we are. So I missed some here and I missed some here. And that could be a nice effect if you want to leave it that way. But I want to... Get, whoops, see, I'm, I'm on the one below. I want to be on the one, there we go. I want to be on the one that we were at. And let's see where we end up. And then, and that's not bad. We're going to just go with that. Whoop, one down here too. So I got to bring it back to finish this side. Okay. And just because I screwed up, I'm just going to crop it. Because I really did screw up. Okay. I, did I crop it? Wait a minute. That way. That way. And do I have to say apply? There we go. So there we go. So now I'm just going to bring it back. I'm going to go back to my clone tool. And I'm guessing I have to do that thing again, <laughs> which I, I'm having trouble doing. I think I should be able to. Oh, let's make sure this is layers beneath is still set up. So I'm going to keep that one open, and now I'm going to be painting on the actual, the like for example, I want to brush a little bit, some strokes into here. And I actually could if I wanted to. Let me undo, two taps is undo. Let me undo that. And what I could do is add another paint layer. So a pixel layer right on top of that. So let's do a pixel layer, and then I'm going to pick some kind of a different kind of a brush. I'm not sure I'm crazy about some of these oils, but maybe something with some texture. And you can go like this and move up and down and see what they look like. Kind of liking these texture things. I could also do watercolor. 
Let's try watercolor, see what happens. Again, I have no clue what's going to happen. I'm just playing each time, and I actually did it differently when I did um, the desktop version. I didn't use the watercolor, so I'm going to just paint some watercolor right on top, and it's on a new layer now. This is the second paint layer. I'm just going to try and do this, paint like that. And I know it's a little bit off on here, but I don't care. I'm doing this very quickly because it is a tutorial. You should spend time. I spent almost a week doing my other ones. And the watercolor is giving it this roughness. I can always erase some of that. Whoops, sorry. Watercolor is giving it. But I'm going to kind of watercolor some of these areas in. I'm not trying to do, be perfect, like maybe like some lines here. I'm just trying to keep where these lines are going. And I'm making a mess because my stamp wasn't in the exact same spot as it should have been. Okay, so now once we got a little bit of what we think we want, and I don't like all this extra stuff that I did, I could turn it off. But I kind of, it has a little bit of a fuzzy look. If I want, I can go to selection and move it a little like that and get it closer to where we wanted it to be like that and so I'm again I'm I keep saying it because I'm embarrassed but this is how it's gonna be I'm doing this very quickly so now what I'll do is I'm going to go let me see if I remember I'm going to go to mm, I'm trying to find the thing that says maybe it's up here hold on there we go let's see Merge visible. Okay, so now we have just merge visible. So I could turn all of this off. And now once we have merge visible, we can once again go to adjustments and curves and decide if we want to make this different color, different darkness. I want to move this up so you can see it. So we can bring out some more of the colors here, do something different. We can add more color and change things around. I'm not going to do too much. And then you can also, if you're interested, do HSL. You can go add an HSL to it. Let's go back here. Okay, so HSL. And on HSL, if you wanted to, again, we could change the look of this. Let me move this down so you could see it. And it works just like regular HSL. So you could add, you could change the saturation. You can work with just one color. If, for example, like bring down or bring up the saturation, the luminance. I'm gonna, I kind of like where it was, to be honest with you. So if I tap here, I think I can type. Uh, it was, I guess, zero. Maybe you can tap it. I don't know. I think if you tap it, you bring it back to zero. Okay. So okay, this is not really that pretty, to be honest with you. But I'm going to show you what the real one looked like. And once again, it, they, it hung in museums. And you can see some of the other ones that I did. I hope you liked this tutorial. And please click like and subscribe. Wait a minute. I have a pen now. Hold on a second. I could do this now. New fill layer. And then I'm going to pick a paintbrush. Right? And I'll make the brush smaller. And maybe I'll go here. And I know this is pretty lame. And then maybe color red. Okay, please click like and subscribe. Don't ask me why that's showing through. <laughs> Did I learn something new just now? Because I have no idea how that happened just now. Let me see what the layer is like. Why would it do that? No, it's a fill layer and I'm... I guess when you type on a full, oh, that's weird. Okay, but please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Thank you. Bye.